first ever state of emergency for LGBTQ plus people. In the light of Pride Month, human rights campaign, America's largest LGBTQ civil rights organization declared a national state of emergency for members of the community for the first time in its four-decade history. 2023 Record High Anti-LGBT Bills Human Rights Campaign noted over 70 anti-LGBT bills were passed in states and legislation sessions, double last year's previous record, Red News reported. But these bills are being passed by states. Those state governments are elected by the people. So isn't that the will of the people? If it's the will of the people, what happened to shall not be infringed? I guess people on the left are comparing these bills to what? Jim Crow? So I guess I'll just put in a few more of these images or articles and see what we come up with in the end. Some 525 bills were introduced Virtually all Republicans, including more than 220 affecting trans people, human rights campaign added. So let's look at these signs. I don't need permission to exist. Hmm. What about the unborn? Do they need permission to exist? Protect trans youth. Do trans people even have kids? I mean... I'm, I'm confused. Federal protections now. Wait, does the federal does the federal government protect the unborn? Multiplying threats facing millions. LGBT Americans are living in a state of emergency. The multiplying threats facing millions in our community are not just perceived, they are real. Tangible and dangerous. The group's president, Kaylee Robinson, according to CNN. Who else is under threat? The unborn. I've heard of conservatives being attacked. You wear a MAGA hat, you probably will get attacked. Uh, straight people who refuse to date a trans person, they get threatened. Anti-LGBT rhetoric is spreading in the U.S. Researchers and LGBT advocates in the U.S. have tracked an increase in hate speech and social media and threats of violence, which they warn extremist groups may see as a call to action. Well, social media threats. Now, in this article, when it says social media threats of violence, are they including or excluding trans people who are making threats? Just a little curious. Recently, members of two far-right groups, the Patriot Front and the Proud Boys gathered outside of a Unitarian church in Columbus, Ohio, leading to the cancellation of a drag queen story hour, several media reported. Okay, so first, one of these um, right-wing groups I heard was a bunch of glowies, and second, were these people protesting, or were they mostly peaceful protesting? Because, you know, that's a very important uh, distinction there. War of Perversion. Heather Scott, an Idaho Republican lawmaker, told an audience that drag queens and other LGBT plus whatever supporters are waging a war of perversion against our children. When it comes right down to it, how does the LGBT community and trans community grow? Well, they have to convert people. And children's minds are like sponges. They absorb information. And they are easier to uh, manipulate. Ron DeSantis and his supporters have labeled as groomer anyone who believes children can learn LD LGBT people exist. Ar arguing that simply talking about gay relations to a child, you are sexualizing that child. In my opinion, how old is the child? If the child is like a toddler or like five years old, why are you even talking about sex relations with them? They should be a child. They shouldn't be worried about that kind of stuff. And of course, orange man bad. 
Jennifer McCoy, a professor of political science at Georgia State University, said that when people with influence like political figures, sports or entertainment stars, religious leaders, or media, whatever, engage in rhetoric against a specific group, supporters can interpret it as a call for action. Uh, yeah, the left does that too. And the right. This is probably the only article that I actually agree with. Anti-LGBT legislation. The slate of legislation includes measures that would restrict LGBT issues in school curriculums, permit religious exemptions to discriminate against LGBT people, and limit trans people's ability to play sports, use bathrooms that correspond with their gender. So, the last two bits, play sports, you mean biological men? can say they're women and compete with biological women and using bathrooms so a boy can use a girl's bathroom no thanks and i guess the gender affirming health care is the whole trans surgery stuff um if you're an adult and you want to do that go for it but if a kid no kids don't know what's going on they shouldn't be able to get that LGBT issues in school? Um, what issues? Are they referring to the whole parents don't want their kids being taught LGBT stuff? One of the big issues that I heard about in school, parents found out that libraries had pornographic homosexual material. Don't say gay. One of the most famous of the anti-LGBT laws is the piece of Florida legislation banning instruction on sexual orientation or gender identity in schools between kindergarten and third grade, the so-called don't say gay. Um, yeah, kindergartners shouldn't be learning about sexual orientation. They're bloody kindergartens. Uh, and that's the most famous, so one of the biggest issues, I guess. Really? They're upset that parents don't want kindergartners being taught sexual orientation. Yeah. Example. The girl in this picture with the little rainbow wallpaper, she probably doesn't even understand what it means. She probably just thinks it's a cute little rainbow. Texas Republicans against trans kids and their parents. In February 22, Texas Republican Greb Abbott and Ken Paxton not only banned gender-affirming medical care for trans youth, but reframed their parents as child abusers. Taking your kid in to get their genitals mutilated? Yeah, I would say they're child abusers. Because again, children don't know what's going on. Paxton signed a legal opinion that parents or doctors who helped children transition were abusers who should be investigated by law. Yeah, they should be. So my takeaway from all this, um, gender identity and gender affirming health care are the two biggest issues. I don't think children should be able to get their genitals mutilated. Well... That's it for my thoughts on the matter. I've probably said this before, but I feel bad for the kids when their so-called parents take them to get their genitals cut. Well, take care out there in the clown world.